Thermal energy definitions, take eight. These definitions come from chapters nine and 10 in your book. Thermal energy, which is in section 9.1, is the total kinetic energy of the atoms and molecules of a substance. And that's often associated, or it, that's the energy that is associated with temperature. Temperature, however, is the average kinetic energy of the atoms and molecules of a substance. So let's look at some examples of how those are related to one another. Let's consider two beakers, beaker A and beaker B. They both have water in them, and for these examples, it's important that we're comparing the same substance um, in the same phase of matter, so that in both of these beakers we have liquid water. The Examples don't work if we're comparing different substances, although at this level you don't really need to worry about why they don't work. We'll touch on it a little later this unit, but it's not a big deal. Just know for these examples they do need to be the same substance. So in beaker A we have 50 milliliters of water, in beaker B we have 100 milliliters of water. We put a thermometer in each one, and both thermometers tell us that the water is 60 degrees Celsius. As a point of reference, 60 degrees Celsius is about, oh, let's see, 120 plus about 30, about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. That, that I didn't calculate that exactly, but that's an estimate. So it, it's going to feel pretty warm to the touch. And it's going to feel the same because they're both 60 degrees Celsius. They are both the same temperature. I, hopefully that's clear to everybody. However, because beaker B has twice as much water as beaker A, beaker B has twice as much total energy as beaker A does. And a way you can think about that is that beaker B is going to have twice as many molecules approximately as beaker A, and each molecule has and, and so if each molecule has the same amount of kinetic energy, approximately average, then beaker B will have twice as much energy. You can think about this in, in sort of a simplified example, thinking of these not as two beakers, but two rooms. And you can think of it as people with money. So say room A has 50 people, and room B has 100 people, twice as many people. And each person in each room has $60 meaning the average amount of money in each room is $60. However, in room A, if you have 50 people each with $60, 50 times 60 is $3,000. The total amount of money in the room, if these people were to combine all their money, is $3,000. However, in room B, there's 100 people each with $60. 100 times 60 is $6,000. And so room B has twice as much money as room A. Just so you know, calculating the thermal energy is not as simple as simply multiplying 100 milliliters times 60 degrees, but it does give you a sense of how, the, how beaker B would have more total energy than beaker A. So let's look at some more examples then. So let's consider two more beakers. So we have beaker A with 20 milliliters of water at 40 degrees and beaker B with 100 milliliters of water at 8 degrees. So go ahead and see if you can figure out which beaker has the higher temperature, which should be easy, meaning when you touch this water, which water is going to feel hotter, but then also which beaker has more thermal energy total. So you should have gotten that they both have the same amount of thermal energy because beaker B has five times as much water as beaker A. But beaker A's temperature is five times what beaker B's is. And so they have the same amount of thermal energy. Go back to the money example. And again, it, it holds up as long as we have the same substance and we're going to again assume that both of these are water. If you have 20 people each with $40, that's $800 total. But if you have 100 people each with $8, that's also $800 total. However, in this case, beaker A has the higher temperature, which again should have been obvious just by reading that 
it's 40 degrees Celsius compared to 8 degrees Celsius. But as far as the total energy, it is the same. The total, the thermal energy. Okay, so let's consider two more beakers. So, in this case, we have both beakers at 40 degrees Celsius. Beaker B has 100 milliliters of water. Beaker A, again, has 20 milliliters of water. So determine which, com compare the temperatures and the amounts of energy. So in this case, you should have gotten that they have the same temperature. However, beaker B has more th thermal energy total. This is similar to the example before. All right, let's consider two more beakers. All right, so this time I want you to draw two beakers. And I want you to draw one that has more thermal energy. So say beaker B has more thermal energy, but beaker A has a higher temperature. Try that. So pause it and draw that. And then check your answer. Okay, so there's obviously going to be many different answers for this. You don't have to have exactly what I have. However, here would be one example of that. So beaker A here has the higher temperature. Beaker A's water is at 20 degrees, whereas beaker B's water is at 10 degrees. So beaker A has the higher temperature. However, there's so much more water in beaker B that it has more thermal energy. There's 10 times as much water in beaker B, meaning 10 times as many water molecules. However, beaker A is only twice as, has only twice the temperature of beaker B. And so again, going back to the money example, it would be like beaker A here has $200, 20 times 10, whereas beaker B has a thousand dollars, ten times a hundred. So even though the average is less, meaning a lower temperature, it actually has more thermal energy. There's one more definition I want to give you, and that definition is heat. We use this word pretty generically in everyday speech, but heat in science, which is, by the way, in section 9.4, is a measure of how much energy is transferred between substances. So heat is a flow of energy, a movement of energy. And it's also a way of doing work. And so we'll talk about that a little more later. But if you remember back to physics, we talked about the two ways to do, um, or I'm sorry, the two ways not to do work, I'm sorry, that the two ways to um, transfer energy were through work, which is a mechanical transfer of energy, and then the other one is through heat, so the movement of thermal energy. Please put any questions you have on YouTube, and we'll answer them in class.